up? What up? What up? Bear and I are on our way down to check on the bees. We hadn't been there in what, five or six days? Yeah. So we're gonna check the pollen patty that's been in for what, almost 10? I need to check the log. Oh, yeah. Probably 10 or 15 days and uh, see if they've started working those other frames that we put in. We're also gonna clean out the feeder. Uh, I just, I keep pouring the water sugar water you know in the top well this time you know we found some dead bees last time so I'm afraid that I might have poured some water on top of them so you know um, so from now on I'm gonna start taking the top off of it so I don't make sure so I make sure I don't kill any bees if it if in fact that's what I did I'm not sure that's what happened but yeah <laughs> the pro they propolized these two boards Here, so smoke go that way. All right, so really, all we're trying to do is check the feeder, the pollen patty, and the pollen patty. And so let's move this over. And looks like I'm going to need some more room. See that? So they're still, they're, they still got some pollen patty left. That's good. Let's check. Let's take this frame and move it over. Okay, good. They're working. They're working this frame. They're just trying to keep the smoker going. <laughs> What I want to do here, can you see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take the little rubber bands off. And I'm just going to pull this out if I can. I'll just get the hive tool. There we go. Hey, the hive tool works good with this too. Yep. <laughs> so, see, we got some bees. Some dead bees. Well, now some of these down in there are alive. Hmm. We do have some dead bees in there, so. What is that? So, I'm not happy about this. Of course, how long have we had the feeder? This feeder has been in there, well, almost since the beginning. So, basically looking at about a month and a half of bees collected in the feeder. So, um, I don't know. I may ask. Uh, Derek Forrester what he thinks about this feeder but of course it's been keeping them <laughs> with sugar water so I think what we're going to try to do is clean it out and uh, we'll restock, restock it so it doesn't seem too dirty but I'm just going to give it a rinse here you can see where they propolized it Around the edges, Barrett? Mm-hmm. That's kind of funny. So we got our new sugar water mixed up, and we'll, I think what I'm gonna do is put this in the back end, and then we'll pour it in. All right, Barrett, so let's fill her back up. It's easier to pour this way. <laughs> yeah. Give them one more shake before we, Put them in there. Was that this was the light one? There was another. There's another one over there, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
I think, oh, I want to put on a heavy, when I say heavy, I mean thick with sugar mm -hmm. in there first, because I don't want to put a lot of water content without having the sugar in it. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure we get that whole pound of sugar in there. All right, so one thing we just, we just realized is that this keeps the feeder together, so we can't fill it all the way up. Yeah, we got to put it back in and then put the rubber bands back on it so we'll know when it's full. Mm. <laughs> they're, they're fine, baby. They had one interested. They're being good. They're being good. They are. So now we're going to just finish. At least we know there's no bees in the funnel now. Yep. All right, that brought it up almost full. So we'll check on them in another five days or so, make sure. Been, I think we've been doing good on the keeping the feeder. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad to see the... Keep just a little room there to get by. So they're going right back to it, which is good. <laughs> hey, Barry, I found out what the high tool is good for. <laughs> Back scratcher. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, that felt good. All right, so you guys were good today. <laughs> I think we ought to just raise this up just to check on them or just leave them alone. So it's funny. Because they all started moving to the back, but they were all over the whole frames. So now I don't see any bees on the end, so I'm gonna let it back down gently. Did that one get out? Move a little bee. I didn't want to oh, get back in there. Go back. Okay, he can go out the front door. Go through the front door. All right, here, video man. <laughs> so, I don't see many. There's an ant. Kill the ants. So today was mainly um, just a feeder thing. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do for the winter, Barrett, I'm gonna make this hole bigger the size of one of those patties, the pollen patties. Okay. And I'm also going to make one for a sugar patty and we'll put the screen over the hole and we'll lay the patty right on top of the screen oh, so they okay. can come up hmm. and we'll put it over the over the hive and that's why I'm saving this board. We're going to make it, we're going to turn it into a, a winter feeder. I'll have one for like pollen, one for sugar. Gotcha. And then I'll lay a blanket of insulation on top of that. And uh, hopefully that'll keep the hive. Then we gotta put our dowel. <laughs> we need to put our dowel back in. Mm -hmm. This is the new hive, so we haven't got the, the dowel back in yet. Oops. I think I should take my back scratcher with me. I guess so. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so Barrett, this was the pollen patty. We forgot to put it on there. So that was the 24th, 29th. And now what's today, the 6th? Yep. So we um, obviously visited, visit Hive. I don't know why I have to, I feel like I have to say that each time. Yeah. <laughs> we were, obviously if I'm making a log, but anyway, just to be thorough. And we cleaned and filled feeder. I'm gonna put, put a I'm gonna put a little asterisk here, dead bees in the feeder. I write like a doctor so you can't. So then pollen patty was really not even halfway eaten, I don't think, was it? 
Doesn't look like it to me. Patty, I'm gonna say it's about, it was about uh, 80%. And there were plenty of bees, lots of bees. Lots of bees, because we're past that wondering whether brood is hatched or not. Um, so we know it has, because we checked it. We found some empty brood cells mm -hmm. last time. So anyway, did I miss anything? So uh, anyway, guys, just let us know what you think about that feeder. If there's better options, I was, you know, that feeder came highly recommended. Uh, but if there's a better one that'll go in a frame, like that one, I'll use it because I'm not using external feeders anymore. They just promoted too many ants, and we've had great luck with the ants, haven't we, Barrett? Yeah. That first hive was infested with ants because I had those external feeders, and uh, the bees could not protect the, the source of food like they can with the internal. Uh, I mean, literally, the ants have to go through the bees, literally not just through a zone they have to because there's always there's always bees in those tubes when we when we're there and uh, so that means the ants would have to go through the bees but anyway uh i want to make this a two-hour video so anyway <laughs> anybody's got any better ideas uh let us know and we'll do a little research and ask derek about it thanks guys Nice.